uh, has been doing a segment called Where the Hell is Where Harry the hell is every day. Harry? Yeah, well, he's leaving tomorrow from Oklahoma and heading back home. He'll be back this weekend and back with us on Monday, but uh, I just wanted to say that because the uh, big voice guy says Steve Jackson and co-host Harry Duke, and he's not here. But he will be. It is the Vintners Vibe with Michael Laney from Sonoma County Vintners. George Christie is here. He's president of Wine Industry Network. Adam Bryan from Corsi Graves Winery. George, talk a little, get a little deeper into what uh, Wine Industry Network does again. So, like I said, we do a lot of marketing on behalf of these uh, industry vendors. But uh, in addition to that, we've got a um, editorial site called the Wine Industry Advisor. So we produce a lot of our own um, business-related wine industry articles. Uh, we've got a, an email that goes out every day. Uh, it's called the Afternoon Brief, and it's basically, uh, it's basically where we uh, gather all you know wine industry news from um, you know all over the you know publications from all over uh, online and in print, and push that out to uh, to a mailing list of about thirty eight thousand people. So at the end of the day, I guess what, our goal is to be the best business resource we can be for the wine industry. So if you're uh, 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 looking to, to, for a product or service that you need for your vineyard or winery operations, we want you to come to us. If you sell a product or service for the winery or vineyard operations, we want you to come to us because we can we can help with uh, awareness. Uh, if you're looking for a job, we have a job port site. If you're looking to fill a position, we've got a job site. So uh, really, in the, we try to do as much as we can in the industry, but it's all on the B2B side. You know, We don't deal with the consumers and uh, whatever we can do to help people be successful. Well, you know, George, and, and I always look at you guys as an, an education component, whether it's with the afternoon brief, which everybody gets and everybody reads every day, and it's always interesting, uh, to, of course, the trade show and to, to so many other aspects that, that you guys do. And I think in looking at the show itself and what you do, whether it's through the brief or through the uh, trade show, you know, one of the things is we all know wineries are, and, and the people that work there are super busy. So all of a sudden they need a product or they need a service. They don't really have a lot of time to sit down and go through the myriads of all these, and they know by looking at you, you're going to have a top quality vendor within that realm that they're looking for, and it takes that out. There's yeah, there's just not a lot of resources available, right? So you can ask your neighbor, you can ask your neighbor's neighbor. Exactly. Uh, but uh, but at the end of the day, it's you know it's really designed to just help people save time and make better decisions. Yeah, absolutely. It works. You know, it's I mean, it's hard enough in this industry, right? So whatever we can do to help maybe minimize the mistakes that we all make, uh, that's our goal. And the uh, 10th anniversary of the uh, Wine Industry Network Expo is coming up at the fairgrounds December 1st. Mm -hmm. Trade show and conference. Uh, go ahead. Trade show and conference, right? As I mentioned, uh, anybody who's listening that wants to, to attend the show, use KSRO as your promotional code. It'll get you a free trade show pass or a or a discount off the conference sessions, which also includes a, a trade show pass. But um, yeah, we're super excited to get back together with everybody. Last year we were able to pull it off, but we had to wear masks, and it was I was a little bit nervous about how it was going to go. But I think people have been it's like still have a little bit of that pent up need, desire to be with our friends again. They're well, calling, you know. So yeah. we're really pumped about what you and know. That's this what year. wine's about anyway. It is it's what about it's about, people, and we know? we're seeing um, you know the trends. From you know, comparing back to like 2019, you know we're probably two to three times further along with the number of registrations. So we know it's going to be a good show. Uh, we know the conference is going to be good. We know the trade show is going to be good. And it's, uh, and again, it's like I, as I mentioned earlier, it's that that reunion component, which I swear I think that's like what makes it the most special. When you go to wineindustrynetwork.com, folks, to find out everything about it. And Get your tickets and enter KSRO in there and yep. get some freebies and stuff. Yep. And also you can go to uh, wineindustryexpo.com. That's the, that's the, the, the website for, for the, the event, for yeah. the event okay. itself. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, we do a lot. We, and again, we do other things. We do with with COVID. Sure. You know, we started doing like online webinars, and you know, we're just constantly having some sort of an educational thing going on all the time. But there's a lot to talk about. Well, there's a lot, yeah, there's always a lot of change. Adam's one of the speakers. Well, I, exactly, you know, and uh, I want to talk about, I want to get Adam to pour up some cab, and while he's doing that, yeah. I had one question for you about the expo itself. Are you seeing uh, any new types or new industry ven vendors coming in? We're, we're always seeing new, there's always new vendors, right? There's, ne there's never a shortage of, of companies just like people that want to be part of this industry, right? So we're always seeing new, new, um, new vendors coming in. But the, the, 
kind of the, the, the really cool thing that we're seeing is the technology part. You know, the technology I impact, uh, whether it's in the vineyard uh, with the you know, automated this and that, and we, uh, obviously in the, uh, in the sales department, I mean, it's technology is, is making it reluctant you know we're, we're so always the industry the wine industry a little bit reluctant or a little slow to embrace technology but that's changing yeah. absolutely so let's talk about this cab man yeah wow this is a gorgeous looking one this is uh this is